Uh, hello everyone. In, in this video, uh, I want to tell you three things. The first one is how to upgrade your firmware uh, through this cable from your Android phone or, I or iPhone to the Kukam 8K. How to upgrade the firmware through the cable with Kukam app. Second one is what will what you should do if the upgrade firmware fails. So how can you rescue your camera to bring it back to life? The third thing I want to show you is how to upgrade or downgrade your firmware through the SD card, which means you can directly upgrade or downgrade your firmware directly from the SD card. I will show you step by step. So the first, first thing is how to upgrade your firmware through the cable. Right. First, we connect the cable uh, with the camera and the phone, and the long press the mode button to turn it on. <coughs> and your phone will see, see that uh, open the app by default. And uh, a moment later, you can see the image in the camera. Because I use the landscape, so you can only see the landscape. Next up is the, to tap the option button and uh, through the firmware upgrade click on the, the icon and click on transfer and the firmware will be transferred from the Android phone directly from the cable to your camera it's very fast it's faster than the Wi-Fi connection and it's more reliable and after a while uh, after the transferring firmware has done, the camera will automatically upgrade the firmware by itself. And in this video, uh, we take the uh, 03063 firmware uh, as an example. And after that, the camera is upgraded. It might take three minutes. In fact, it will take less than three minutes. And you can see the the LED will turn into purple, right? And there's a, uh, uh, yeah, and the upgrade is very fast. And uh, you can click, and you can see now uh, something happened to your uh, to your uh, Kukam 8K because although the upgrade is has complete, but uh, your camera has some it's buggy or something else happened to your camera, so. Now you can see it doesn't work. Uh, the preview and uh, something else is freezed. So which means the the firmware upgrade might not be compatible or have something buggy happen to your camera. So how to rescue your camera uh, from the this uh, break to help save your camera, bring it back to life. Uh, it's very easy and uh, you have to use the <coughs> SD card to upgrade the downgrade firmware. So in this video you can see the firmware upgrade is uh, 063. So 063, 063 is not working on this camera so we need to downgrade to uh, 062 or even lower firmware. Next stop is to, to uh, Close the camera, shut down the camera, shut down your phone, disconnect the cable, and after that, uh, you can uh, pull out the, the micro SD card, right? In the slot. Oh yeah, we don't have a micro SD card, so we can we can bring a uh, SD card you have. In this video, I take uh, the Samsung Evo Plus. The 512 gigabyte SD card as as example. So the next step is how to upgrade your firmware, a downgrade your firmware directly from this tiny little SD card. Next up, what we need, what we need is, um, I can show you. Yeah, what we need is uh, uh, a camera with more than 30% battery life. An SD card uh, more compatible with your camera. A card reader, 
so that you can read your card with the computer, right? The next up is uh, a laptop or uh, Windows or Mac. In this video, I will show you both Windows and Mac how to upgrade a firmware. XFAT. So XFAT is the file format uh, work compatible with the camera. But to upgrade your firmware, you need to format this SD card into FAT, FAT, the FAT32, FAT32 of the default, uh, the DOS, DOS FAT. So the first step is how to format this card into the FAT32 format. On Windows and Mac, you know, on the, the latest Windows 10, we don't have that option by default. And on the Mac, uh, it's called Microsoft DOS FAT. So the next step, I will show you how to format and copy the firmware to your SD card to make it work. Okay, so now uh, on the on the Mac, on my MacBook Pro, I will show you how to format the SD card into the FAT32 or the Microsoft DOS FAT. First up is to uh, plug in your SD card with your card reader. So next in your uh, uh, on the desktop, you can see the micro SD card. Uh, and uh, then you can go to the, the disk utility, to the software, uh, which is located in the my Mac. Uh, it's on this place. And look at this. It's on the, the disk utilities. And in open that, you will get, go to the uh, this. And uh, in this format, you can see uh, you can find your SD card, which is 512 gigabyte, which is the SD card I used in my card slot. Uh, right click on this and click on swipe. Uh, swipe, you can go to the, uh, you can click on this. Uh, the last one is XFAT. That is the format we need to be compatible with the camera. But for the firmware upgrade or downgrade, you need to format into the Microsoft DOS FAT. Uh, this format you will see, uh, you can give it a name, uh, external, okay, and click on swipe. <coughs> yeah, and after a little while, uh, you can see the, the format has been done. Uh, click on this, now you can see this is a USB mass storage external drive. The file format is FAT32. Microsoft DOS, right? Okay, so next stop is very easy. Uh, double click on the icon to open the, the disk. And this is the, the file you will, uh, you will get the, for the firmware upgrade. Double click on the file. You can see uh, there is uh, an update, update.ir. Uh, double click on this and you will unzip the file to a new folder called update and next up to put the update folder directly into your SD card like this copy and paste right yeah and after that the update folder should be appear in your SD card and next you can uh, push it out and then you can put the SD card into your camera card slot and do the firmware upgrade or downgrade. That's it. Okay, so before the we update firmware, uh, we need to format the micro SD card into FAT, FAT32 format. Uh, now I have already put my SD card in the card reader and you can see there's uh, the disk K is my micro SD card. And you click on a uh, right click and see the uh, the micro SD card now has the X FAT, which is not compatible with if you want to uh, upgrade firmware to SD card. So you need to format the X FAT into FAT32. So normally in on Windows 10, we click on format, 
uh, we cannot find we cannot find the only NTFS and XFAT. We cannot find the FAT32. So in the folder in the zip file, if you unzip the file, I have provided with you a very simple uh, user interface to help you format your SD card with only one click. Uh, now let's see uh, how to use uh, this software. The software is very small. It's called FAT32Format.exe. So double click and uh, enable the, the administrators. And uh, now it's very simple user interface. Uh, uh, my SD card is uh, the, D, the drive number K, right? This is uh, 512 gigabyte XFAT external drive. And uh, this is uh, a very simple tool to help you format any disk into the FAT32. Now we just click on start. And that's it. And after a little while, it will help us to format the micro SD card into the FAT32. So the, after the format has been complete, uh, click on close and uh, right click on your drive. You can see now this is a FAT. This is a FAT32. We have already complete the format with the, the simple software. And next up, uh, we have three files unzipped from the this file, right? Uh, this is uh, this is an instruction manual. You can read, uh, follow my step, or you can uh, directly watch my video to help you solve your problem. Next up is to unzip the update dot rir. Unzip the file, and uh, you will have uh, <coughs> you have a, a folder called update. In the inside the folder, uh, we have uh, an update. Update we have a debug and update dot uni. So this is the firmware and this is the debug information for the camera. So we cut the folder directly into the external drive, and after that you uh, push out the micro SD card and plug it back to your camera, and you can to the firmware upgrade or downgrade through the SD card. That's it, that's very simple. Uh, the, key, the key point is how to uh, make, make use of the tool I provide with you to help you simplify your format process. And next is to be very careful about uh, this, uh, this update folder. You can extract directly to this folder and uh, to copy this folder directly, uh, directly into your card, directly. So you can double check your SD card. In the SD card, there's a folder called update. If I double click the update, there's a debug file and the update.uni, which stands for the firmware. And that's it. Okay, so now after the, the format on the MacBook Pro on the Windows PC, we already uh, put the firmware into the micro SD card. Next up is to put the SD card into the card slot, which is located on the left of the camera body, and uh, put it inside. Okay, and after you put the SD card into the card slot, you press the shutter button and the mode button for a period of time. Now the, the firmware is upgraded. You can see the blue LED light is blinking. It just stop stop blinking, uh, which means the firmware upgrade to downgrade is ready. Now you can see the blue LED light stop blinking, which means that the firmware the upgrade or firmware downgrade has been done internally. Next up, we will uh, long press the, op the mode button to shut it down. And now I can see we have already shut down the camera. Uh, next. So don't open the camera right now because the uh, micro SD card file system is not compatible with the camera. So next we are going to do is uh, put out the micro SD card and reformat into the XFAT or the FAT FAT thirty FAT sixty four. Uh, 
as now we have uh, already finished the firmware upgrade, but since the Mega SD card is not compatible with the camera anymore, so we need to format it back to XFAT. Yes, the first step is to plug in the Mega SD card into your MacBook or Windows. After that, you can find the, the card and right click on this, click on swipe, and choose the XFAT. Click on swipe. After a few seconds, the micro SD card will be ready for the camera. Yeah, so now we have already uh, finished the firmware upgrade uh, of our camera. Uh, next is, you know, we have uh, we have a FAT32 SD card. We have to format it, reformat it back to the X FAT to make it work on our uh, camera. So that's very simple. Uh, right click on the, the drive icon and uh, click on format and click on XFAT by default and click on start. And after a little while, uh, the drive will be formatted into the XFAT format. Now let's refresh it. You can see that now it is uh, an XFAT format. So you can uh, push out the SD card and then plug back to your camera and restart. Your camera will come back to life. After that, you can see that we already uh, format into the XFAT format. Next stop, uh, we are going to bring the camera back to life. To put the SD card into the card slot, uh, long press the mode button, and your camera will come back to life. Right? You see that? Yeah, now it's ready, right? It, it works. Everything is right. Uh, let's take a photo. Right? Yeah, now it's working again. That's all for today's video. I hope you like it, and I hope this video can solve your problem in the firmware problems. So, see you next time.